Impact Music. All right, six feet going deep. It's notorious with Screw Matic. All right, Skrilla, um, why do you tell us about like what you do? Shit, I'm a rapper, slash writer, slash genius, slash entrepreneur, slash gangster, slash visualist, mm-hmm. slash god body. And you, <laughs> you grew up like down here, right? Yeah, I grew up in Hollywood, Florida, Liberia, aka Liberia, little Africa. <laughs> How was it like, you know, growing up um, down here? It was cool to me. I mean, I guess when you're born or something, you know what I'm saying, you, it really, it, it really don't affect you because that's what you, that's all you really know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, so when you're born, in it, it's like you're immune to it. It's like breathing air every day is too easy. So you're from yeah. Hollywood, right? I'm from Hollywood, Broward County. What about like your family? Your family's like from all born down here, like they're from. Um, my family like, they're from the Bahamas. Some, I mean, I don't, I don't know about the American part, but I know my family from the Bahamas mm-hmm. and they migrated to Florida. Oh. I'm saying, yeah. they migrated the day they was they from Miami. They from down south, mm-hmm. and then they migrated to Hollywood in the night in the early 1920s. What about like your childhood? Like, how was it growing up? Like, you know, in in Hollywood. Shit, I'm the oldest of seven boys. Mm-hmm. I'm saying we fought every day. We beat each other up. Then we beat up the whole neighborhood. <laughs> oh man, you know we gangsters. <laughs> you know, if you could gone. shed light on Hollywood, like one thing about the, you know, what would you want people to know about it? About Hollywood, yeah. one thing, yeah. the culture. We different. You know what I'm saying we from Broward, but we different. We right. We 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 closer to Dade County than he has to Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, because I always wonder like if like Hollywood was considered Broward or if it was considered Miami Dade. It's, it's considered Broward, but we're South Broward. Huh. You know what I'm saying Southeast Broward. So you got Liberia, then you got Carver Ranches. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Then you got Miramar on the west, but Liberia and Hollywood is just like the whole Hollywood. We just different from everybody. Mm-hmm. We different from Miami natives and we different from for a lot of their natives. We got our own swag, you feel me? Yeah. What about like um going to school? Like what kind of kid were you? Like were you like getting to that um, job or like were you getting good grades? I played ball. I was dope. I played running back. I played offense and I was the hardest hit on the team. They right. call me they call me Iron Man. That started yeah. in high school or since like That started school? since Optimus since since I was in the um third grade. Who got you into like football? They playing on um, but they like, you know, your brothers? Or nah, me. Me. I was, I'm a leader. I always led by example. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I like I like contact. I like the bite. I like the scratch. I like the poke. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I like yeah. contact. Like, I was always aggressive. Like, pain never really even so affected you, me. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? I can kick the, kick a brick on my toe and my toenail fall off and I just peel it off with no pain and don't even want to pick just, just walk it off? Yeah, just walk so, it off. So then you had aspirations, of course, right, with the, with the football? I had aspirations, but um, I, for some reason, all my life I knew I was gonna be a rapper. I had um, I fucked around and got a um, I can curse, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I fucked around and got a um, never seen a man cry by Scarface. Huh. Uh, so these are my first. I'm gonna y'all like some crazy, some crazy man, shit. So never seen a man cry by Scarface. Very white practice what you preach, and Tupac, dear mama, I got all three of these tapes for Christmas. Imagine a young nigga from the projects. Not even 10 years old, possibly. Got three of the most phenomenal artists in the world right now. And your tape deck, and I got a boombox this big that took D batteries. Mm -hmm. And I'm walking around the whole neighborhood playing Barry White, (laughs) Tupac, and Scarface. So who gave you these? These are pretty, like... I don't know where they come from. I don't much remember how I got them. I just know they was Christmas gifts. Yeah. So I remember the Barry White tape practice, what you preach, was all white. The Dear Mama tape was all black, and the Scarface was clear. Is that what you think molded you into like the yeah, musician you I, are? Yeah, I, because I, I became a visualist at first grade. You know I'm saying very, 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 very early. I became a visualist. And I was so young, I couldn't would, understand. I couldn't understand Tupac like that. How would you describe what a visualist is? Um, I see things before I do them. You know what I'm saying? So when you hear a track, I can hear it before it get mixed. Mm-hmm. I can hear it before my vocals become on it. I can hear everything. You know what I'm saying? I can see it. And it's like right there. It's like it's different from an average human being. You feel me? Yeah. Like it's just it's, it's some it's some advanced technology, Jedi mind shit. So like when you make a video, like you're like well, um, you already see like you know everything. No, nah, I don't like, see the video shit. I leave that to the uh, the nigga that's shooting it. Yeah. I don't see. I just see the music. Like that's just my department. And, but who the person that's shooting the video? He has a different vision than I have. Mm-hmm. I could have. I could paint a picture in my mind, but 
his angles are gonna be different from my angles. Yeah. I might yeah. be at ninety degrees. He might be at one sixty. Is that something you tried the, the video directing? Nah, I ain't even try it. <laughs> it ain't my forte. What so, about like artists from Miami? Like, did you look up to anyone coming like from? I mean, not. Like, did Miami, I look up to like, any like, artists that come from Miami? Yeah, like South Florida, in general. Just Trick Daddy and Ross. Mm. Like I was too young for JT Money. I was too young for Uncle Luke. Like I ain't never do the booty shake your hands on my knees type vibe. It wasn't gonna happen. <laughs> it wasn't gonna happen at all. So obviously you're signed uh, MMG. MMG. How did that go about? Like how did you link up with Ross? Or actually, how did you even get to like the music? You know, like what's the, like the time? I, I caught my dog safe one day coming outside of Simon's. Mm-hmm. Cool J's. Cool J's. My bad. Shout out. My bad. Cool J's the best, the biggest in Miami right now. Cool J's. What is I mean, you ain't going to shop at Cool J's. You go on 20th Street. You go on 183rd, and then you got another location. One sixty third. Is that for the swagger? Cool J's is the truth. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. So I don't think we have that down down south. Yeah. No, you need to. Y'all got it's on 20th Street, so it's close enough. Uh-huh. You need to get the Cool J's and shop. Uh-huh. Shout out to my brother Danny. I'm sorry. <laughs> cool J's is the best. All right. But I caught safe coming outside of Cool J's because he was the plug. Yeah. So I was getting leather pants from this nigga. The leather pants was pack, <laughs> back popping again. Yeah. So he was like, somebody had to gave me the, the drop the info on him. So I'm like, man, this nigga be around Ross. He just did the stack on my belt shit. He the first nigga to create the leather snake skin with the Versace head. I'm like, hold up. This nigga got me fucked up. I hit him up. So I know how to captivate him. I played the first track I got. My plug, my amigo, Hefe. Poquito speaking English. You like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like yeah. <laughs> but that was my dog. But I had to play that track to show, let him know the influence of the culture, and let him know that I'm more of a culture visitor than just just yeah. an average rapper. You know what I'm saying? That I just believe in culture. You speak Spanish? Yeah, I speak enough. Just don't say too much around me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm very <laughs> sneaky. Very sneaky. I speak a lot of Spanish. Yeah, because a lot of black. Um, like a lot of blacks now because we. No, a lot of Spanish people don't think that black people speak Spanish, but then there's so, like some black. Well, my advantage is, is I went to a school of performing arts. Yeah. So the school of performing arts was in the middle of the projects, mm-hmm. and it's a magnet program. So students from everywhere across the whole Fort Lauderdale, Miami, was going to my school. Mm-hmm. So from kindergarten all the way up to my fifth grade year, we taught we was taught Spanish. Uh-huh. So that was my advantage. Yeah, you think you took in everything? Like you took I in took, all, like, I'm from Miami. I'm from well, well, I'm from Broward, but we call all of this Miami because it's just culture wise. But Spanish is a second language. Yeah, it's it's too easy. Spanish, it's a second language. Three world here. Yeah, <laughs> you learn Spanish and you learn Creole. It's either the one or the other. Do you learn Creole too? Yeah, I'm very good. I'm. I pick up real fast. Because my my family's Haitian and like Spanish, but I don't know Spanish or Creole. Like, <laughs> you all fucked up, huh? Culture, ass nigga. <laughs> I try to learn it now, but it's like you know, like when you, you get older, old, homie. yeah, it's, it's harder when. Nah, you're but I'm gonna tell you something. Just learn the vowels, the, vowels. the A E I O U for each language and everything else gonna come. Cause right I know, to you. like a lot of people say, oh, you know, you speak like you speak fluent. Spanish. Learn the vowels. Like, learn the vowels. And, and when you figure it out, just mm-hmm. let them know Skrill told you so. Then you won't be trying to take credit for your own vibes. Uh, I'm going to just let you know. I'm going to give you credit. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, so you showed them this track. Uh, you showed the stylist the track or you showed that to no, Ross? No, Safe. I showed, I played the Safe. This track's for Safe. Safe on. Uh, he's like, I'm not no fucking manager. <laughs> 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 That's the first thing. But he listened, though. Yeah. And since that day, for the past four years, it ain't been a day that I ain't speak to him. You know what I'm saying yeah, he created exactly. the whole raw yeah. situation. He brought forth, you know what I'm saying, the presentation. You know what I'm saying? Um it just was a lot involved from video shoots to just giving songs. I think we we had did Dope Boy and Versace. Mm-hmm. Ross did the song, gave it back to us the next day. Khaled premiered it on the next the radio station the next day. Like the craziest shit ever. I'm like, I'm famous. Like, I, Cause I already had songs with yeah. Future and Rocco previously to yeah. that because Future I had songs with Future but before Future was who Future was. Yeah. I'm saying I had songs with was those guys but option? those were it wasn't as big as the biggest. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Was it before like you started using auto tune like when he was like rapping you know, like? Um, I actually got one of the most rappingest verse from Future ever. Really? Yeah, I think my that verse I got from Future is a classic. Like, like where you could tell he's actually like put an effort. But into Future it. dope though. <laughs> Nah, yeah, definitely. Future dope. Shit he be saying, dog captivate the world. 
So um, yeah, okay. uh, talk about um same gang. Like, was that a thing before or after the whole the whole link up with uh, uh Maybach Money uh, Music Group? Uh, that was before. Before so uh, actually, heard. same gang came from Safe because he was he was asking me. He like asked me every day. Yo, you should get your own name. You gotta uh, brand yourself. I was like, you know what, man? Fuck it. Let's just run with the same game. He's like, you sure? Because he he already insisted that I did my own thing. Yeah. I'm saying I got my trap cartel. That's my shit. The trap cartel. It's dope. <laughs> Nobody don't use my shit. Trap cartel. I said it first. But <laughs> trap cartel. But safe. You know what I'm saying? I insisted on using the same game. I was like, you know what? You already got a brand, bro. You stepped in. You helped me majorly. I'm gonna show you my loyalty. You know what I'm saying? It's just that's that's how I am. I'm a loyal person to whatever I believe in. Yeah, I had read on, on you know online that you were like like how big is like determination to you? Does it say that? Determination? Yeah. Like, what does that mean to you? Shit, never giving up. Yeah, I mean, it's simple. I mean, you define determination for what it is. I mean, if anybody else give you another definition, they may mean it crazy. Yeah. I'm saying it's just determination, never giving up. How do you stay like determined and motivated to like do everything that you do? Shit, that's on our, that's the only thing I know. That's the only thing I know. I, I'm a rapper. Like, right, this is my only option in life. Is either that or become the next big Meech. <laughs> Trust me, it's too easy. <laughs> you you want to talk about other things that you're that you're good at or other things that you know more than music? That's all I know. So, what about, I know what about sports? I know sports. I mean, I was, I was a dope player. And all. I hit real hard. <laughs> but sports is not, it's like, it's, the option of sports is just out of there. Like, you catch me watching NFL, NFL game twice a year. You feel me? But mm-hmm. as far as, like, me just doing everything, I come to the music, I come to the studio yeah. four or five times a week. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. My my vision on, on life is just different. A, I'm not interested in everything else. You feel me? What about writing your music and everything? Like, how does that process go about? I'm blessed. It's God's gift. Everybody's not that blessed. Some people just write a whole bunch of weird ass words and they don't make sense to the next line and metaphorically think they ill. And then some people just accept they're just, they're calling. Mm-hmm. I'm here to help my family. That's what God did for you. Sometimes you just gotta embrace God. Like Raekwon and Nas told me, just embrace it. Don't even. You ever get stuck and like think like nope. shit? Like what Never. Do? <laughs> Never. <laughs> yeah, how, how many songs have you made? Songs I made? Yeah. Like 2,000? 2,000. No. <laughs> how much have you released? Um, about 100 or something. I'm saving my shit. I need a bag. Yeah. I, I'm being real with you. Everybody be like, yo, you got all this music you need to drop. Listen, if one yeah. of these songs hit, do y'all know the magnitude that we don't have to fucking be in the studio for the next 10 years? Sure, just just drop this shit. You know what I'm saying? we can. I can go pretend to be on the mic or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Not saying that's the process, but... Mm-hmm. I got so much music in cover grounds and then, you know, if we got hits and maybe I need to, the hook is dope, but I need to do, redo a verse. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I might not be as dope as I am today as I'll probably be next year. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Lyrically, because every day we evolve as humans, our you mind become bigger. Revisit. Yeah, I can always revisit everything. You know what I'm saying? So I got songs that I heard that I did two years ago. My homie's like, yeah, 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 drop it. And then I did the verse. They're like, why you doing it? And then next thing they're like, oh yeah, whatever, well, verse is cold. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, yeah. it's like that. Do you ever get any hate on like any of your music or anything or like any hate? Yeah. Like are they hate any haters? Uh, I mean every the gang come with haters, but my haters are minimal. Right. Really? I think they understand and they listen to my lyrics very, very, very carefully. So you feel like you get more love than hate? Yeah, definitely. Um, shit, when you go on like YouTube and you go on certain sites, they they compare me with Jay Z and Pac and Biggie and shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's weird to me, but. I just look at it like, nigga, stop stroking my ear. Do they ever compare you to Ross or like me? Uh, do they compare me to Ross? To a certain extent, hmm. they um, they um, they do comparisons, but me, I just feel like I'm way different from Ross. Ross, Ross is not a political writer. You know I'm saying he never writes about certain things. I'm saying mm-hmm. so that's what separates me from Ross because I could be like political militant Drake the Black yeah. Camo Hot Water Portion Brainwash Lee Mavo Snipers off the rooftop like bitch who killed Tupac Spirit of a Finny Ride Solo in the new drop then Ross would just be he won't even do that yeah his whole perspective is different you know what I'm saying I I mean 
Um, you guys have like similar backgrounds, right? Yeah, so, yeah, similar backgrounds. Yeah, play football. Come from the projects, dope boys. Around the same, yeah, like, sort out. of the same area, like close. Nah, Hollywood and Cash City is way too far apart. Is it? It's not that far apart, but it's, it's far enough. Uh-huh. Ten miles is far. <laughs> Five miles is far. Yeah. You know what I mean? So was there ever like a time where you, where you really felt the hate? Like, damn, this is what hate feels like. Nah, man. Nah. Nah. Don't, they don't play with me, dog. <laughs> they don't play with me. I mean, like, not even in the music industry. Nah, like, they don't nah, play with me, dog. Like, like, you stay in your lane. Like, I'm going to stay in my ass. Like, street shit, like. Street shit. Nah. Not no street shit. I got I mean, that cover. I mean, you say you got shot at before. So I, that wasn't like, my, my, on my behalf. All right. I'm not going to get shot at because of me. I'm all too right, wise cool. for that. You know I'm saying? I got shot at for free. I got hit with an AK-47 for free. That's somebody else's situation, you know what I'm saying? It's just that you just got to pay attention to the people that you're around, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you never know the people. You think you know the people, but you don't know them. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? It's like you go to prison, homie, and you've been with your dog. Your dog been locked up for 10 years. You ain't seen him in 12. You're going to embrace his beef. You're going to do everything that he got going on. Because guess what, nigga? Them Chicos don't play on that wreck yard. Nigga, they coming out with the motherfucking lawnmower blades bigger than your motherfucking whole arm and chopping everything off. Mm-hmm. And you getting hit, too, because you don't know what's going on. Just because you're friends with him? Just because you're friends. Because y'all from the same neighborhood. Just because you went to high school and middle school with this nigga. You don't know what he doing. He fucking boys. He doing all type of weird shit. You don't know what's going on. You just seen him and just happy to see somebody that you know. Because guess what? You feel lonely. You feel me? And that's how life feels. That's how outside on the street says. You think you know people, but you don't ever know them. So I can know you for 20 years and not see you for five. And I don't know you no more. You feel me? I can meet you today and don't know you tomorrow. Is that why you guys think they so close? As a who? On you and my team. Yeah, my team is solid. I don't got to question my team. How important is it to have the team? I had a hundred at first and down to ten. Uh-huh. When I go out, I got forty niggas with me, but that don't mean that all of them with me for that purpose. They out because they want to live in the limelight. You feel me? Yeah. Not saying that they just shouldn't do that. They're my niggas. I'm happy they want to do that. I love to show them the world, but when it comes to my immediate niggas, I'm down to ten. If that. So you got any projects like coming soon? Anything planned? Yeah, I got three mixtapes in the album. Is that like under wraps right now or like? Yeah, all all good, easy. How you did? How would you like describe your sound? Like when you're, you know, you said that you're good at like picking beats, right? So right. Like, what do you look for when you make when you're picking your beats? Eight hundred eight. Eight hundred eight. Yeah, Spanish guitar, piano, organ. You fuck with Spanish guitar? Fuck yeah. You like um Sade? Nah. You like um You don't like Sade? Nah. What? I don't like no fucking Sade. That's your preference, nigga. <laughs> you like Barry White? Yeah. He does, mean, does he? Sade over Barry White, nigga? Come on, who got more soul? Come on, stop, cuz. Shit, bro. That's a that's a tricky one. <laughs> that's a tricky one. Sade? That's a tricky one. She ain't talking about no shit I experienced. Shit. Yeah, nah, I, that's I, like I, a nigga asked me. I, I ain't grew up on no fucking Michael Jackson. I like Michael Jackson, but I didn't grow up on nigga. I grew up on Scarface, BG. <laughs> You feel me, Tupac? No, that's not, that's not what I... Sade don't... Mm, Sade? <laughs> I mean, you gotta talk after this. <laughs> no, no, I was asking because of the Spanish... You said you like the Spanish I guitar. I love the Spanish guitar. I that's, love it. She uses, she uses it a lot. I love the piano, but that don't mean that I like her, what she's saying in her voice. You just like the sound. Yeah, yeah. I like the you sounds. Like the sound. Those are the, you, you said the sounds. I ain't say Sade because the voice. You ever got into like making like beats and stuff like that, like producing? Yeah, I tried it. I ain't with that shit. It's take too much time. How how'd you learn how to do like all the mixing and mastering and everything? Oh man, I just got tired of asking people for help. Oh yeah, yeah. I think that's what we're Y'all like Hector de la Huh? Y'all like Hector de la Huh? Hector de la yeah, el cantante. Right. You, you fuck with that? Willie Cologne, nigga. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, el cantante, el, el cantante. You know what was the? Uh, Pity, uh, what it is, I hear, what it is? Yeah, but it was I Yeah. All right. El Cantillo. So, El Cantillo. I got that shit down packed, homie. I'm on point now. I know him. You I don't ever, listen to the new niggas. Man. You ever been out, uh, out of, out of the states, out of Florida? 40 countries. 40 countries? Oh, no. Yeah. Like, on tour? Or just 200 like cities. City. Just right. to visit. 40 countries, 200 cities, some tour, some visiting. What's your favorite place to go to? I don't remember. You remember? Nah. You like you like Hollywood? Hollywood, California? Not here. Yeah, hello, home. <laughs> <laughs> hello, home. What was like the like the I guess not the craziest but the most like uh impacting uh um 
like the most impactful shit you came across. Like ain't nothing like New York, dog. Nothing like New York. Not even the, the other cities across the world. Ain't nothing like New York. New York City. Because you got yeah. the whole world there, yeah. pretty much. Yeah. Um, what's that other? What's the name of that shit? Uh, Venezuela. <laughs> It's like nine miles from Aruba. You know what's going on out there right Nigga, now? Nigga, that shit. Crazy. <laughs> you can look across the line and see the gunfire. <laughs> <laughs> you, say, you look at the mountains, you see gunfire smoke on the mountains. Yeah, mountain. I wouldn't go out there. Honestly. That shit but, crazy but over there. But at least you know a little Spanish, you know, so you, you, you know. I was on point. But in the in Aruba, they speak um, Papa Monte, Papa, Papa Mente, Papa, Papa Monte. One of those languages, I, I, I forgot. Papa Mente, I must think. What about like, what's your favorite thing to eat like when you're overseas? My favorite thing to eat? Yeah. Conk. I'm a Bahamian nigga. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what, what's like some Bahamian food? Like, shit, conk, pigeon peas, rice, sheep tongue, sauce, Johnny uh, like cake. The Caribbean food? Like, yeah, hell Caribbean yeah. The, 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 the Bahamian macaroni and cheese. I'm saying that the, the conk salad. You like Spanish food? The, the fish. Like, yeah, the I, like, I food? like Spanish food. I like Spanish food. The black beans, the rice, the pollo. The, <laughs> I love everything. Chuletas. Yeah, chuletas. What about girls? Like, what do you, what do you, um, you got a shorty? Or? Oh, no, I ain't finished with the food yet. Oh. <laughs> oh, we still talking about food? Yeah, yeah. The coquettes, I love the coquettes. The ham and cheese oh, coquettes. coquettes. Oh, oh, my nigga, oh, my God. Where are you? Yeah. The coquettes. You be going to the bakeries or, like, public? Nah, nigga, I go to the little fucking, the, the, the um, mom and pop spots, oh, man. Okay. The little corner store shots. Uh, yeah. Nigga, we go to Hialeah, nigga, Little Havana. Oh, yeah. We got a spot in Little Havana, got the court cash like a movie, boy. Jesus Christ. I ate like 30 of them bitches with the crackers. <laughs> you um, know, um, too? Haitian food. Haitian food. I like. Grill? Nah, I don't fuck with the grill. I fuck with Tasso. Tasso. Tasso, Tasso. Tasso is. Ducolet. Um, um, Dewey Blanc. You call that Dewey Blanc sauce bar. That's too easy. Hold up. Shit, you should be a chef too. <laughs> yeah. I ain't cooking like that, man. I know the buy. It. I know the five restaurants in the city. I eat everything. Yeah. Are you allergic to anything? Allergic? Yeah. Busters. <laughs> <laughs> what about uh, American food? What's American food? Uh, McDonald's or something? Not like you know, like burgers. <laughs> Something like, like burgers. Like, hot dogs. <laughs> like hot dogs. <laughs> I don't think that's American food, though. It's not. Well, I mean, that's, you know, like all American hot dogs food. is like like Frankfurt. Yeah, that's German. Yeah, but, like, I mean, like, not even hamburgers. Not not even this, none of this shit is like American food. Yeah, I mean, like, like nothing's really. I mean, like yeah. the American diet. You know, like, what's American diet? Like French fries, burgers, and Coca-Cola. Oh yeah, so we're talking about food. Are you, are you done with that topic? Yeah, I'm done, fool. All right, what about girls? Like, how the girls then like, over here? I get what I want. You get what I want? Yeah, it's easy. Everywhere? Or? Yeah, anywhere in the country. What's your, like, what's your preference? Like, what's your type? I don't got no preference. You got a type? I ain't even crash like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's a setup. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, so, um, like, what's your plans for, like, well, not your plans, but, like, where do you see yourself, like, going or ending up or... The greatest rapper in the world the ever rapper. to live. I ain't gonna say past nobody, Bill, because I'm gonna just say right beside them because they already accomplished things that yeah. the most men dream about. You, you wanna be up there with their names and I wanna whatnot. be up there with the gods, that's all. Do you, want to, well, do you want to be, like, what they stood for or what, you know, their lyrics? Both. Both? Well, yeah, both. Because I ain't, you know... Where I'm at right now mentally and the, the way I see things is like it's different. I'm saying I live past most, and you know I still got a long way to go. I still got a good 15 years in the game. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about like the new wave of rap, like the shit that's going on? Ain't my on. business. How you get your money, you get your money. It's like asking somebody about, oh, you got dope, oh, you got straight drop, or you got whip. All dope gonna sell. But so you, if it's dope, it's gonna sell. But you listen metaphorically. To it? But do you listen Pretty. to it? Nah, I'm not listening. What the fuck do I listen to? I listen to Hector, the mother one. <laughs> I listen to Nirvana. I listen to BG. I listen to OBG. I listen to Hove. I listen to Ross. And then I just put on Hot 105. Oh, okay. All the oldie goldies and yeah, shit. That, yeah, that's always been in my house. Yeah, cause yeah. I don't wanna I, like I like. I love what's going on with hip hop, mm -hmm. but sometimes 
also it kind of interferes with what I got going on. You know what I'm yeah, saying, and I try to meet the expectations of what's going on because I'm still a part of that youth. So yeah. from eight, to, I guess the ages from eighteen to thirty-three, all the same generation. Mm-hmm. So I still have to step away. Yeah, be step away and also be in tune with what's going on. You know what I'm saying you don't want to be too far away from the culture. What about like Lil Wayne? How he said you never like heard of Kodak. Probably don't pay attention to what's going on. No way you don't be on Instagram. You can't assume that, oh, I never heard of Kodak because who's Kodak for Lil Wayne to listen to when Lil Wayne survived 20 years in the game? Mm-hmm. Kodak still got 18 years left. Who's to say Kodak gonna last 18 years in the game? You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like you never know what your destiny is. Is it you here to stay or you here to be in and out? You feel me? Yeah. Like, because Lil Wayne said he never heard of Kodak, you can't say, oh, Lil Wayne's a fuck nigga when he paved the way for all of us. Because he never stopped. You feel me? He never stopped. All the squad ups and the Lil Wayne albums. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to agree with everything that he did. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to say, oh, I'm a die hard Lil Wayne fan, but if he didn't hear of, if he didn't hear of Kodak, then that's his business. Yeah. Especially for someone like hand. Kodak, because like, I feel like if he paved the way for anybody, it's for rappers like Kodak. Yeah. So, uh,. Is there anybody like you really like looked up to type shit like oh I wanna pop pop two pop yeah you I was so movie? young to understand I didn't understand I was like twelve eleven you saw the new movie that came out yeah that's cool what you- it was just it was an outline of his life it didn't give her a pop yeah I didn't get a pop you know what I'm saying I didn't get a pop that I learned and I took all the years and study for do you watch his movies like Juice and stuff like that I did I don't watch them no more I mean I know watch them I watch them hundreds of times but. <laughs> Not to say I wouldn't pick up a remote and be on Netflix and put in juice and say I want I watch it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying just watch it. Oh, uh, what's like one thing that like if you you know like, let, let's say that you know you get everything you want from music, are you still gonna make music you know, after like you know like? Nah, you know? I'm gonna just put a young, young kid up after I just finishing and just finish with music because I don't plan on being in music for 20 years. Mm-hmm. I give you a good 10, 12. Then I'm gonna just put on some young kid, you know what I'm saying? That just had the potential I got. You know what I'm saying lyrically though, mm-hmm. I got the I got the ability to identify. So yeah, um, who who is same uh same game? Like you got other rappers in it, or it's just, nah? I'm just the only rapper. It's just family That's and shit it. like that. And it's how you mix other rappers with same gang, then it just become problems because everybody be just wanna be all the way shit. Same gang is just full of like, just like you know what I'm saying people with just good energy, hmm. different races, different minorities. Just it, it's 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 the song. You know how you just put the adobo and you mix the fucking the vibes with it. And yeah. you, know, you know what I'm saying? That's how you do it. It's just different. Spices, you feel me? It's yeah. just everything different. I'm the only rapper in the same game. Yeah. I got other little homies that rep the set, but as far as like, you know what I'm saying, the same game culture, I'm the, I'm like, you know, I'm the top runner, but for the culture of the same game, we got other rappers, but when it comes to same game, mm-hmm. the immediate same game, I'm the only rapper. What about like where the name Skrilla came from? Skrilla come from money. I always been, I always been a hustler. Mm-hmm. I always been getting money. Always been getting money. Oh, um, do you have any advice that you would want to give anyone like starting? Keep hustling. Up? They gonna tell you you can't rap until you put other niggas on. Fuck the niggas. Keep on. You don't know how what you, where you can get at. I'm the first nigga in Broadway ever to be on a Ross album. Never where you can go. Ross in the top ten dead or alive ever. Scrib is on now. My accomplishment. I like Broward County, Hollywood, Florida. So when was the moment you really felt like? Damn, I I just accomplished this shit from doing what you were saying, keeping on going and keep on hustling. Like, when was that moment you felt that real accomplishment? I don't feel like that yet. No. You don't even feel like it paid off. Even yet? after being in the studio with Jay Z and being around Ross and being on Ross's album and being on other albums that been out in the stores, until my album officially comes out in the stores and they got my UPC code on there. And they say Skrilla, same gang. And they say all my niggas that's been helping me for years and that believed in me, then that's when I believed that it happened. But until then, until I put out an official album in stores, you can go to Best Buy and get my shit. I ain't really. No. Yeah. You have anyone you want to shout out? Nobody. All right. 
Yeah, all my niggas know I, I fuck with them. Shout out Sang. I'm loving the death. Um, <laughs> same game, cool. Double MG, Ross. But they, I don't have to, what's known don't have to be explained. Yeah. So if I shout out anybody, it's like I'm all with, almost categorizing myself to say, oh, I only fuck with this person. Yeah, when yeah. Everybody know I fuck with them. So yeah. I don't need to shout out nobody. You feel me? Where, Nigga um, said that's a settled question, too. <laughs> what, what about where they can find you at? Uh, Skrilla MMG everything. Skrilla MMG? Yeah. Uh, everything. You got Twitter, YouTube. Everything. Uh, everything. Is, is there like one thing you want like your fans to know, just the people to know? Just Go one buy thing my about shit. You? I'm the dopest nigga in the game. When's the album coming? October. October? Yeah. Alright, so this has been Six Feet with Skrilla. Skrilla Matic.